now you're back with Mandy Ren again on part 5 of my replay of The Legend of Dragoon. Hey guys, thanks for joining me again. Um, we've just finished defeating um, some of the Imperial Sandoras in the marshland. Uh, right now, we've actually just we've actually just finished leaving the marshland actually because I couldn't find anywhere to save. Um, so I'm just gonna have to go back in there because I need to go through the marshland again Basically to get to Volcano Valud But yeah, I didn't want to have to we were we were running a little bit late the last time and I didn't want to have to dick around and look for another another save point Sorry if there's any noise in the background. It's my my uh my cat's being a bit noisy today. Any money, I'm gonna end up finding like a really close save point as well. And I won't have had to leave the marshland. We were at the seventh fort, I believe. Um, a lot of the Knights of Basil were dead. And I think, yeah, we're just on our way to Volcano Valud because we need to get through there to get to the nest of the dragon. Um, last time we were in Sertio, we were dealing with kind of new information on dragoons. Dart's now got a dragoon spirit. We've got Rose in our party. Um, who comes with a spirit? <laughs> and I think last time we checked, uh, Dart was quite close to being finished with Double Slash. I'm just about to yes. equip his new edition of all I don't believe we have too much of the marshland left, to be honest. I think it's quite short before we get to Volcano Valud. I'm hoping um, there's a couple of bosses in there. I'm hoping that I'll be able to get through them so that you can see some of those guys. But we definitely won't make it too far into the nest of the dragon if I'm kind of remembering those areas correctly. But I'm hoping we should at least be able to get through Volcano Valud. Um, so I think I'm going to take this bow. I'm pretty sure that just going upwards will get us to where we need to go. But I'm pretty sure there's just items around here. So I think yeah, I think I'm gonna wanna do some dicking around first. Let's see. Looks like we've got too much on us. So let's see what we can kind of get rid of here. Oh yeah, there's a lot in here, so. Ooh, yeah, there's a lot of. Yes, we'll get rid of a couple of those. It's gonna end up being another health potion. Oh no, 
know it's a spirit potion. So it works out quite well for us. Okay. No, 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 silly. So we're down now. So something that I'm going to start doing from today, I know that it's not September just yet, but what I want to start doing is what I'm going to be calling at the moment, shout out September. So I may have mentioned before in uh, one of my past videos, or all of them, I'm not 100% sure, uh, that I am part of a Facebook group. Um, it's just called The Legend of Dragoon. It's just a group filled with fans like myself. Um, some of them are doing live streams. Some of them do pre-recorded Let's Plays like I'm doing right now. Um, but there's also some people as well that are kind of in their own little niche. Um, there's a couple of people that do covers of Legend of Dragoon songs. And um, there's even someone in there that is making a Legend of Dragoon comic. So today, um, I want to talk about someone that's doing Legend of Dragoon covers, and his name is Garrett, and he's part of the group. Um, he's got a few videos up now already on YouTube. Um, I'm going to put a link to one of my favorite ones that he's done so far, but um, give, give that video a look and um, check out some of his other ones as well, because to be honest, they're all great, um, but I'm going to post uh, my favorite one which is uh, a cover that he's done of the Forbidden Land kind of battle song, which is really, really, really good. Uh, I like it in particular because it is uh, to do with the, the Winglies, which is something, if you've, if you've never played this game, um, you won't really know anything about them uh, at the moment. Obviously, only what we've heard from um, Minister Noish. Uh, who who is um, part of King Albert's court? Uh, just that little kind of cut scene where he was telling us a little bit about uh, a little bit about the dragon campaign and um, when it was basically the humans versus the winglies. But um, the the song is basically basically something that you hear in kind of the the background while you're battling in the Forbidden Land, which is which is a land that used to belong to the winglies. I won't get too much into it because I don't, anybody that hasn't played the game, I don't really want to give away too many spoilers and stuff, but, um, and, and hope, hopefully, like, when you see the video as well, it doesn't, it really doesn't give away too many spoilers, but you will see bits of a cutscene in the video, which I, I really, really loved that he included that in his music video because it really gives you kind of a taste of, of, like, kind of the, that anger of the Winglies, which, which is, is part of the video as well for, for him. Um, he's playing the electric guitar in it. He's he's done all the stuff himself. The cover is uh, ha is metal, like it's a it's a metal cover. So if you love Legend of Dragoon and you love metal, this is like right up your alley, which which is something that is quite close to my heart as well because I'm I'm quite a metal fan as well. So this was like a really big deal for me getting to see this. He's extremely talented. Um, the the video is amazing. The mixing is amazing. Just every everything about the video is just like chef kiss, like incredible. Um, I did of course ask his permission before I'm including kind of his his information and stuff in the description. So don't don't feel too like oh like that's a bit that's a bit weird like kind of like it's got issues. No, I obviously I don't know him in real life. I just know him from from our Facebook group. But again, he's he's an incredible talent. Um, even, even if you're not a big fan of metal uh, and you're just a f fan of Legend of Dragoon or if you don't know much about the game, you're kind of like a, a newbie just here watching and you love metal, uh, honestly, just just check his stuff out because um, he's, he's just done some really incredible stuff. Um, just give him some views, give him a sub. He's already let me know that he's got, a, he's got some more stuff that's gonna be on the way. Um, I'm really excited to listen to what, what he's kind of got in store for us. So again, give give him a sub if that's something that you're interested in because it's definitely it's definitely not something that you want to miss out on because it's just it's really really incredible some of the stuff that he's got going on. He's also got um, a Dragon Ball Z cover um, that he's got on there as well if you're an anime fan. 
Um, I'm also an anime fan myself. I did ask him if he's going to have any other kind of um, anime stuff going on. Um, he, he did say potentially yeah, so that I'm quite excited for as well. I honestly, I, I love covers and um, honestly to hear, to hear kind of the way that he's that he's done some of these songs from Legend of Dragoon is just, just incredible. Like, honestly, the, the Wingly one is, is my favorite because I, I just thought that it was quite artistic what he did with the video as well. And I just, I, I just think that it's incredible. So I will make sure to post that link in the description. So please check him out um, after you watch this video because you, you will regret it if you don't. Um, I will be doing these kind of shout outs uh, for the rest of the month, all the month of September, if um, so long as I'm um, kind of getting permission. I obviously don't want to be kind of like stepping on anybody's toes. So I will be making sure that any any content creators that I'm shouting out, I will be getting their permission first. Um, but I would like to include mostly people from the from the Facebook group because there's a lot of really creative people in there. And I just think that it's really cool that that so many people like just love this game so much that they've decided to like do let's plays and and do live stuff. I think I'm gonna use this healing potion on Dart. But um, yeah, it just makes me really happy that so many people are are making content because they love this game so much. And it's just great to see that even 20 years into the future, like after this game has been like finished, released, all of that, that there's still people like me out there that love this game so much that they that they play it again and again and again. And that there's people out there that have never played the game that are kind of seeing what me and other people are doing and are thinking, you know what, like this, this is an older game, but I'm gonna check it out because it looks really good. Um, anybody that's not signed to the petition on my uh, part four video, I do have the petition in the in the description. So if you're interested in kind of getting your voice heard in terms of getting a remake done, um, a lot of us have still been talking about it, not just in the group, but um, just just in general about how great it would be for a remake to be out. Um, guy that uh, is also part of the group, Jeremiah, um, him and I were watching one of Crazy Play's videos of them doing a playthrough of Legend of Dragoon as well. They they do live videos. They they don't like do pre-recorded stuff. And um, Jeremiah and I were discussing the remake, and he's even said that he would he would drop seventy bucks. And uh, I completely agree with him. I'd, I'd drop seventy quid on a remake easily. So here we are. Um, let's see. So I'm done kind of boring you to death by dicking around in this boat. I think I've got all of the items now that I need. So let's get the heck out of here. Because I don't think there's much much left to do. I think if we go up and then up again I think we're good and then we're out of here and then I can show you guys a brand new place after this word from our sponsors. Sorry, Shauna. And here we've got the the usual girl next door. Oh no, something bad's happened to me. Main character, please help. <laughs> She's all embarrassed because Rose has stood there like girl get your shit together you do feel a bit bad for Shauna I mean I know I do she kind of just she wants to be around because she wants to stick with Dart and she's trying to be strong and she's doing all right Like she's clearly she's clearly there because she 
wants to impress Dart and she wants to be like a adult and everything and it's like she's not it's not like she's like doing a terrible job at it but <laughs> bless her heart all right now I think we're out of here so it actually is a good thing that I did leave the marshland and kind of save the game before I did this that would have brought us quite a bit over and actually let's save the game here we'll save the game before we go into the volcano of Lude. Okie dokie. always like to when I'm doing things like this I like to just have a different save thing just in case something happens because you never know any money now that I've saved as well. We're gonna go right into Volcano Valud and there's gonna be like a save point. Just smack right in my face. It's usually what happens. I was expecting that in the marshland, but I completely forgot that there actually isn't isn't one in there where you're on your way to the volcano. Here we are, talking about metal. What's more metal than a giant freaking bird on fire in a volcano land? <laughs> Should probably run. Yeah. happy that we've now got the dragoons because I do have a lot of fun with them oh my goodness gracious having to get rid of so many items let's see um let's see no not armed we don't need to worry about that let's see here if we go to the list and kind of one two three four five six seven one two Block enemies move for three turns. Generates an attack item. I wonder. Maybe if I just get rid of a angel's prayer. I think I'll do that. I, I hate missing out on items. I could end up getting something absolutely crap. And completely regret it later. But I hate seeing a box. And not being able to open it. Because god no. Ooh, spear frost. See... In here, that is going to come in handy. So, you know what? No regrets. No regrets. Ooh, yeah, there's a box down there as well. Ooh, every time. Hmm. Sorry about that again. I don't know if you heard that in the background. I've got two cats, and both of them are being particularly noisy tonight. They just don't. No respect. Hey. Mr. Cat, get out of here. You stink, mate. Ay, ay, ay. I look away from you for one second, Labbit, and then what happens? Hmm. Alright. Well, Dart's not going to have any sort of advantage on these guys because he's of the fire type. Oh, my days. Okay, let's see. I wonder. I think I better use body purifier. If I use this on Rose and that freaking salamander attacks her, stuns her again. I am with smack. Oh, well. Dead anyway. Now, I can't for the life of me remember whether or not when Lavitz gets up... Ooh! Dart leveled up. Burning rush. Ooh, speaking of additions, I better double check that. 
I'll check Lavitz's health as well. Because I can't, I don't remember if being stunned goes away when you leave the battle. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Okay, perfect. So let's go to Dart's Editions. Oh, I'm still going to do it four more times. All right, fine. Okay. Mind Purifier. Oh. I'm sure it'll come in handy. Mm. I'm going to go this way first. There is a save point. Mm. I feel like one of these ways doesn't actually go anywhere. takes you to something. No. So I think that must be... God, I can never remember. Oh yeah, here we go. Perfect. I'm glad I didn't turn back and think like, oh, this must be the way that goes somewhere. Because that would have been stupid. Let's see. I'm just gonna check what everyone's got on them. Night shield... Rose has a power rest on. Yeah, you know what? I think everybody's kind of got their ideal stuff on here. Not that I'm preparing for anything. Don't question it. Okay, so here we've got a save point. Yay! Not that I've done a whole hell of a lot, but you never know what's going to happen. Okay, this is the one that I saved. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to do that. I don't believe that there's any stardust anywhere nearby. I think they're mostly in cities, to be honest. So, hopefully I'm not missing anything here. Ah, oh, yes. Sorry about my mouth clicking sometimes when I am considering something. It's like a tick. I just don't think too hard about it. Shauna, what are you doing? Just follow Shauna, shall we? Something interesting. Take it away, Rose. <laughs> okay, I'll explain it to you. Thanks, Rose. And now we've learned another little something about the dragon campaign. You coward. You absolute bitch. Let's run. Rose is about to whip out a sword. Now, this one is not a particularly difficult farage. And when I say that, I guess I've made it quite clear that yes, there will be more than one of these. A little bit of a spoiler, hopefully not too big of one. But yes, this isn't a complete barrage, as you can see, because it looks like it's got no lights, which it doesn't have. Oh, Rose. I do love her. She's quite a badass. I forget what type the 
garages. Okay, so gray normally means just no type, no type at all. So that means that it doesn't have, um, it's, it's not good against anything, but it also has no weaknesses. So, yeah. Um, with this one, um, I did learn this the hard way, obviously the first time I played this game. There are different parts to this garage. So as you saw um, in brackets, it said head. Um, there's also body and arm. What I ended up doing was taking it out bit by bit, thinking that, okay, we well, have to get rid of one bit, then another bit, then another bit. Well, in fact, really all you have to get rid of is the head and then everything else dies too. And um, what I also didn't realize was that things start to grow back <laughs> once you once you kill them if you take too long to kill the head. So ended up taking a lot longer than it should have because yeah, because I was silly. Um, you know what? We're gonna use Darts Dragoon as well because we've already used Roses. Yeah, as you can see, yeah. So head, body, arm. But we're gonna go for the head. Always go for the face. So yeah, so we've got lab, it's next. I think what I'm gonna do, that's so strange. Why did Roses use all 20 of her MP? Unless I used it earlier. Oh, whatever. Lavitz is going to use a Sun Rhapsody on Rose, because why not? Because she does damage while also healing us at the same time. And that's kind of ideal. But unfortunately, she has no spirit power, so we're just gonna have to do this. I don't think that's gonna fully recover her. I think she needs 100. So, there's no point in using a spirit potion on her now at this point, because she's already gotten a bit and it recovers like a full 100. So, let's see. Yeah, we'll use a healing potion on Dart because, to be honest, he needs it. Probably should have healed beforehand, but I didn't think too hard about this. I just fly by and see my trousers. You guys know this. Let's see. Uh, you know what? Let's use a spirit potion on Dart, though. Yeah, let's do that. And then he can use Flame Shot again. Let's go, Rose. Whip smack. Normally, I don't use um, Sun Rhapsodies or Spear Potions. Um, if I get them, I get them. Like, I'll get them in a box and stuff. But I don't really go out of my way to purchase them. Mostly because I find Spear Potions to be a waste of money. Because you just use your addition. You just use your addition, or in Shauna's case, you just use your bow and arrow. You just like attack, and that's it. You, you get you get it back. So there's, as far as I'm concerned, there's no reason to use it. It's not the same as like with a with a health potion, where like obviously you can regain your health by guarding, and then the next time you get attack, it's not so bad. But it's not as good as a health potion because with a health potion, you you're getting half of your hit points straight away instead of that like that minuscule amount that you get when you're guarding so there's not really much of a point um but yeah i just i don't really see the point in in spirit potions unless you're desperately needing to use a dragon form and you want to be able to use it straight away 
so I've never really come across a boss where I've felt that I couldn't take the like couple of turns to use my addition. Now, Sun Rhapsodies are a little bit different, obviously, because you can't just regain your MP. You, that's just not even something that you can do. You can't guard for it. You can't, you can't do shit all for it. You either heal or you don't. So you can regain it when you go to, like, when you come across a healing area or when you go to, like, an inn or something. But um, other than that, no. Um, so sometimes I keep those on me. But again, it's not really something that I buy because again, like you get, you get more points. Like you have more magic points. Like the higher your dragoon level goes, so it's obviously just a twenty right now. It goes up to like a hundred, I believe. Um, and I find that like I don't know. Um, it takes a lot to like completely drain your MP. Like even once you've got all of the best magic. And I just, I find that sometimes, like, I'll do the Dragoon Edition, depending on who the, the boss is and everything. And once you get near the end game, you've got three people, you've got three Dragoons. Sometimes you're not using all three, because it depends on what the enemy's weak towards. I just, I find that it's all... I don't know. It's just, it's not really something that I use a lot. I suppose during this playthrough, I might, I might decide, like, okay, you know what, I'm gonna... I'm gonna like keep those on me. You know what? We're gonna use another healing potion on Dart because he is shitting the bed here. And then I think the next time we've got Lavitz, we'll use the spirit potion on Dart here. Ooh. He's already in the yellow, which is good. So. I think that once she turns into a dragoon, it should get rid of her fear don't actually know. Let's find out, shall we? But we definitely have to get rid of Dart's confusion. So hopefully, after Rose's turn, it ends up going straight to Lavitz. Because if it goes to Dart's turn, I'm not going to have control over him and he's going to end up attacking somebody. Like an asshole. Or trying to run. Sometimes they try to run. Which is just... Let's do this. He's already in the red as well. We're actually not doing very bad on this. But as you can see, the dragoons are actually quite fun to use. And like with, with people like Rose that have like where they do the damage and they, they get you a bit of your hit points back, it does come quite handy. Um, a couple of the other characters have the same as well. Uh, there's a character who will remain nameless that they use um, one of their magics to make it so that you don't take as much damage, which is quite nice. Um, all of them have their strong points and um, it is quite difficult like dragoon-wise to kind of figure out like, oh, who do I want in my party because they they really do all have their strong points. Please don't be Dart's turn. Woo! Yeah! Alright, Lavitz, you're going to use a line purifier on this guy because like, we don't need this kind of negativity. What? He's in red. So let's see. Let's see if I can just... No, nope, guess not. Oh! I guess so. Cool. Alright, well we didn't even need to use Dart's Dragoon form. <laughs> Did not even need to use it. Maybe that Spirit Potion will come in handy for us later. I don't know what her weird ear things are about. They're not really, I mean, it's not like she's wearing a helmet. 
I'd understand if they were attached to a helmet, but I, I did never quite understand them. They do make her look like a bit of a badass, though. I do like her little, like, costume. I've seen some people cosplay as Rose, and, um, peop some people get really creative with that costume, and, like, it looks really good. Aw, uh, yeah. So, yeah, as you can see, um, even though Shauna wasn't in the party, she did level up in the background, which is great. Uh, I th I'm pretty sure I did mention that earlier, that that does happen to people that aren't in your, um, in your party necessarily. But they don't level up at the same rate, unfortunately, which does mean that, like, if you want everybody to kind of level up at the same rate, you do kind of got to swap everybody over. But the problem is, is that you cannot swap Dart out. So... If you're swapping people over all the time to try and keep everybody else approximately the same level, darts is still going to be way beyond everybody else. So, if you kind of want everybody in your immediate party to kind of stay around the same level, you're going to want to kind of, once you've got everybody, like, on your team, like, finally, like, everybody's there, you're kind of going to want to, like, decide, okay, like, who is it that's going to be my main team if you want them all to approximately stay at the same level. sapphire pin is for, so let's check it out. Oh, Lavitz is dispirited. It doesn't really matter, I don't think. Um, because he doesn't have a dragoon spirit. You know what? I'm gonna... I don't remember what else dispiriting can do, if that just stops you from getting spirit points. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use a mind purifier on him anyway, just in case. Because I don't know if... If there's other things that kind of happen to you, if you're despirited, I can't quite remember. I don't really want to take that chance. Oh my god, how many spears do I have? Um, when damaged by magic, MP is accumulated. Okay, that's not too bad. Well, I keep them all anyway. I'll just end up selling the, like, million spears that I've got. Ah, here we go. Yeah. Let's fight the frickin' Firebird. And that works out well, cause we've got some ice items. You know what? Actually, we are going... First, we're going to use the spirit potion on Rose. Yeah. We're going to use the spirit potion on Rose so that she can give us a bit of a, a bit of a healing here. I'm not going to bother transforming Dart into his dragon form because, as I told you guys before, he is a fire elemental and we are literally fighting a fire bird. So what the hell would the point be? I'll tell you what the point would be. There would be no point. But, Rose is dark. And she can heal us. Heal us with her blessed dark light. So we will do that. And then that'll be the end of her MP as well. I don't think that we've got any more Sun Rhapsodies. But that is fine. So we've got some magic items that are ice type, so I think we're gonna use that against this guy because it's fun. I like pressing the X button as fast as I possibly can, so I do like using the magic items every once in a while. Should bring everybody up to like a decent amount. Rose wasn't even that far down. I think she only needed like 40 hit points. Oh, 32. Yeah, even less than that. So she's probably pretty close to being full health. 
let's see here. All right, Labbits. Let's see. Okay, so we've definitely got... Okay, we've only got one Spear Frost. Mm. I might end up getting rid of that. It blocks the enemy move, which is great and all, but it does take... A, when it says repeat at the end there, I'm fairly positive that this means that once I use it once, I can still use it again. Let's use a Spear Frost first. Let's just do it. Let's do it. Didn't do very well. Better than nothing, though. Let's see. Let's see if I can use this magic six stone on him. Cool. Alright, so that should mean that it worked. Or not! Well, that was pointless. what let's use this attack ball and cross our fingers you guys that it's a ice item or water item or something damn i am shitting the bed with these magical items today at least it was an electric one though and not a freaking fire one because that really would have sucked okay um detonates and attacks all might keep that. What does it mean? Multi oh yeah, so that means. Definitely did better that time. Ooh, uh, I thought that Lavitz did better with magic. Rose is definitely the better one out of, out of them. Let's see. Ooh, yeah, I can't believe that one. That's a single one. So let's let's do that. Let's see what Dart does with. Okay, well, he's definitely better than Lavitz. I think just in general, I've not been doing a very good job with these. Alright, alright. We'll go back to just attacking. Hopefully after this as well, I'll be able to change Dart's edition. I'm really hoping to go to Volcano after this. I think he's probably about ready to begin with anyway. I'm sure it's only like maybe one or two left. I can't wait to be able to change it. It's got to be soon. Yes. Double flash. There's no point in transforming Rose at this point because um, she's got no MP, and I'm not very fantastic with her um, with her Dragoon edition. Not really fantastic with any of them, to be honest. I think the only person that I've done a perfect on. Uh, was mm, actually I don't want to say their name because that it's a little bit of a spoiler because it's somebody that if you haven't played this game before you won't know that they end up joining you so let's not let's not reveal anything but it's someone that we don't have yet and that we won't have for a while <laughs> yes. but I will say that it's a man I will say that it's a man um, and you know what? For those of you that have played, it's the Earth Dragoon. He's the only person that I've been able to perfect on. I don't know why I haven't been able to do anybody else. You'd think that it's it's like approximately the same for everybody, but I don't know why. Ooh. Okay, so they're all level nine, but Shauna's still level seven. So yeah, like I said, it's just. She's not, she's not going to go up as fast as they are because she's not the one that's, like, on my team. I'm wondering if maybe I should switch her out. 
for Lavitz, but I don't want to fall behind on his addition. That's the problem, is it's like, once you've got people that can all do additions, it's just, you don't really feel like putting Shauna back on your team, to be perfectly honest, because you, you, unless you're really, really, really terrible at the additions and you're not, you don't really feel like using them, it's not as fun. We'll buy something because I've got some stuff I need to sell. Sell. We'll go to item first. Yeah, I want to get rid of the Sig Stone. I'm trying to remember if I need it for something now. I feel like I do need it for that stupid rainbow bird. Oh my god. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to look into it before my next video because you know what that'd be just like me to like <laughs> sell it and then freaking end up needing it for something okay but we'll get rid of this bracelet because we definitely don't need that and the freaking billion and one spears i ended up with yeah we'll do we'll keep all of those just in case we need them for something. And also because, you know what? They're pretty expensive. Just in case I end up needing the money. Mm, we'll go to buy. Oh, he's only selling regular items. So, we'll buy one of those. We got six of those. Four and four. Dancing Ray. I know that'd be quite good. So we got three of those. You know what? We'll buy three dancing rays. Because I don't... I just I don't want to have too much stuff on me. Because again, the, the items, I still got 27 out of 32. So I can only have another five items. It does suck that you can't have more. But I suppose if it let you have too much, it would make the game far too easy. So you've really got to consider what you want. My god, we've still we've still got like 13 minutes left and we've gotten to the nest of the dragon here. So I, I doubt we'll make it through the nest of the dragon. But um but we're getting pretty darn close here, so I can't believe that we made it through. I to, to be honest, I did not think that we were gonna make it um to the nest of the dragon. I thought at the very least we'd be able to get out of the volcano, but I did not think. Yes. I did not think that we were going to get into the nest yet. I'm going to save right here. Because I, if I'm remembering correctly, I definitely know for a fact that there is a save point in there, but it's a little ways away, so we're gonna... And we've just defeated a friggin' Firebird, so don't really want to get too cocky. Alright, the moment we've been waiting for. We're getting so close to our first like proper battle with a dragon this is gonna be good this is gonna be good you guys i don't think that we'll get to it this video but all that means is that you'll have something to look forward to on tuesday because we will we will be uh battling it next time definitely isn't doing good again. <laughs> Rose, just try me in here, just to let you know I'm also a woman.
Rose is just like, oh my god, like, who, who have I teamed up with? Like, what is up with these people? run around corners. That weird balloon thing over there could have been a monster. Kalavitz <laughs> hasn't even been with them that long, and even he's like, yep. Yep, that's them, alright. Alright, guys, get your fucking shit together. She is right. So, oh well, we don't have to look for him anymore. Like we're about to face a dragon, and you're just all blase about it. So let's heal up. did say that we were going to check out Dart's Edition, and then I kept not doing that. You gotta be kidding me. One away. Oh my god, you guys. What is going on? Let's see. Yeah, we still got quite a bit for Lavitz. Then, yeah. Look at that. So disappointing. Edition cannot be used. Freaking screw you, Shauna. Okay, let's do this. So there's a ton of boxes here. So what we're going to do, we'll um, fight some of the enemies here. Deal with these boxes. And um, we will get to the save point just before the dragon. And then that'll basically be like the first thing that I end up doing with you guys in the next video is uh, fighting the dragon. So um, something to kind of let you guys know about is um, this is a very ideal place to get some training done. Like to do some grinding, to try and get all those levels up, all that jazz. Uh, because obviously, as you saw before, there was a little pool of water um, that basically heals. And um, of course, there's the save point just before the dragon. So this is the, this is like a place that, that a lot of people like me like to do a bit of their grinding to try and get these levels up. So, as it's something that I would really prefer not boring you guys with, what I'm going to end up doing is between now and Tuesday, but like between now and like when I, I come back to you guys, make another video and um, fight the dragon, I am going to play through and get a bit of grinding done. Ooh, death dimension. Yeah, Rose, dragon level two. So um, when we do come back on Tuesday, um, if I don't have any time, then I won't do it. I'm, I'm sure I probably will have time. I normally have all the time in the world. But um, there's a chance that when I come back on Tuesday and, uh, and have the new video done, you're going to be like, what the frig? Why is everybody's levels different? What's going on here? And the reason would be because I wanted to get some grinding done and I didn't want you guys to have to deal with the super, super boringness of watching that. 
because that is boring as hell. Nobody wants to just sit here and watch me battle the same people over and over and over and over and over again. Like there would be, I, I assure you there will be no um, me getting farther through the story. I will not battle the dragon without you guys. Fingers crossed, hand of God. Um, but yeah, I just, I feel bad. Cause I don't even like being a part of grinding. Like to be honest, if I could just not grind, that'd be great. But. I'm not going to inflict that upon you guys when it's something I'm not even going to overly enjoy doing. Because I do play this game not just for the fighting, but also for the for the plot. And I love advancing the plot. So doing anything that's not, not to do with, like, getting more story info and, like, like getting more companions and just going to new places. I'm not, I'm not normally interested in it, so... It's not something that I that I want to inflict on you guys. So we'll we'll get to get to the point just before the dragon together, and um, when we come back on Tuesday, it will be at that point again. But you might notice that everybody's levels are a bit higher. Um, but I will let you guys know first. Yes, it does. All right. Yeah, so we'll just get these boxes first, though. You'll get to see me fight quite a few, a few things. So let's see here. Because I would like to get Shauna's level up a little bit as well, because I do feel bad she's getting left behind. Normally, I don't feel that bad, because I'm not, not a massive fan of Shauna, but with, uh, with age, I've uh, started to pity her a little bit more. I'm like, you know what? Like, she ain't that bad. I've never used her throughout the, like, like, throughout the entire game. Like, she's never been one of the people that I've kept in my main party. And now that I think about it, like, maybe, maybe I should give her a chance. I'll consider it. If you let me know in the in the comments whether or not you think that I should uh, give Shauna a real a real good chance, like keep keep her keep her in my party. Cause I don't know, she's just so boring. Uh, she doesn't even have any additions. I'm like already not wanting to do it, and <laughs> nobody's even told me to. Like just the thought of it. I just wish that she was more interesting, fight-wise. Like, like plot-wise, she's an interesting character, but it's just, like, you just press the button and she attacks, and it's like... You suck. Ugh. She's really not that bad. I'm just being a whingy moaner. Ooh, we will definitely have Darts Edition done now. Oh, that's fantastic. We probably had it done a couple of editions ago, and I completely freaking forgot about it again. Okay. Yeah, it was, uh... So that'll be the last box, I think. Body purifier. Yeah, okay, thank you, I guess. Probably will need it for the for the dragon actually. Yeah. Okay. So we're we're on our way back. There you can see up there is the save point, um, just before the dragon. So I'll get us up to there. Um, before I end this uh, this video, I just want to remind you guys that in the description I'm going to put a link to Garrett's video to one of his metal covers. Uh, if you enjoy that, which I'm fairly positive that you will. I would definitely suggest watching the rest of his cover videos because they are incredible. And um, I'll see you guys again on Tuesday. If you enjoyed the video today, um, there's four more videos from before. And um, if you want to keep seeing these videos, just like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on Tuesday.